This mural was created by Leyland Adams, assisted by Monique Freider, and with the help of the students of the Afrocentric School. The background is a bright, vibrant pink. We see two figures, a man and a woman side by side. Between the two figures are monstera leaves. These shiny and tropical leaves contrast against the pink background, bringing a Caribbean warmth to the piece. At the top of the painting is a treble clef on a musical scale. The man is Aubrey Graham, an award-winning and local Toronto rapper known as Drake. Drake has his hair braided in intricate cornrows, a hairstyle that braids and plaits the hair in narrow strips to form geometric patterns on the scalp. The rapper has a thick beard and he is wearing a large diamond stud in his ear. His white jacket is brightly lit from the back and the front has a dark cast shadow. Drake stares back at the viewer with his right index finger against his cheek, giving us the sense that the rapper is deep in thought. Here is an audio clip of Drake talking about the importance of self-expression. So if there's something for you to express, it has to be your own thing. Like I don't... The woman beside Drake is Beyonce Knowles, an American singer who is known for her boundary-pushing artistry, vocal prowess, and philanthropy. Beyonce's hair is full-bodied and curly. You see streaks of blonde and browns in it. She is wearing a shiny black dress. She smiles with her left arm stretched out, and her right arm extends out to the viewer, holding a microphone, as if she is inviting the audience to sing along. Here's a clip of Beyonce talking about the connections between blues of the 60s and the R&B music of today. It's all soul. It's all um, music that makes you want to dance and it's all um, everyday situations, things that you feel and you sing about. And the music in the 60s and 70s had so much heart and so much soul that you couldn't help but dance to it and want to get up and move and it just made you feel whatever that person was singing and I think we kind of lost that and um, the live instruments just bring so much that's why I'm bringing it in my music 